Follow-up question from Brent. He's never owned an Enfit half wave, but he used 50 feet of coax for portable because I've heard it's the most efficient. But I'm seeing a lot of hamsters that use 100 feet with their Enfit half wave. Is that better for that particular antenna? Um, that's a good question. And I th <laughs> uh, the there's I, I should bookmark this, but there's this great line in the ARRL antenna guide talking about coax and uh, the author says that um, with a sufficiently long piece of rg8x coax uh, you can get your swr down to uh to a perfect one-to-one -one match so. yeah yeah you got that right yeah so if you if you've got if you've got a um recalcitrant antenna that you want to you want to you want to you know, slim down into it, you know, get, get down into a good match, just throw more coax in it until it behaves. Yeah. 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 Oh boy. Don't worry about the fact that you can't hear anyone and no one can hear you. It's a perfect match. <laughs> it's a perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, but that, that actually, it's, um, I've, I've run into a few instances where uh, I'll, I'll be using 25 feet of coax and like the, you know, the, the Wolf River coil is not behaving. This, it, and I've, I've, had, I've had this trouble a lot of times on the 20 meter band with that coil. And I add another 25 feet and then all of a sudden everything just kind of falls into place. And the, the extra 25 feet is not enough to really, um, may, you know, uh, exponentially increase your losses, but it does offer enough of enough of a loss in order to sort of sort of tone things down a little bit. Yeah. Well, think about it. The uh, the braid on your coax is your very first radial. Mm hmm. OK, because it, it it's. Well, every radial at the base of your antenna, whether you have one or none or a hundred, they're all connected to the shield of your coax. Yep, and exactly. So, and so that shield is going to act as one of the radials. So if the if the coax gets longer or shorter, it, it could tune or detune. Uh, the way to avoid that is, again, go back to the choke. If you put an mm -hmm. RF choke or an isolator in the coax line, then that, that eliminates that problem that you ran into with different length cable causing the antenna to detune. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so, I, you know, I don't think I would, the only time I would use, you know, back to Brent's question, I think the only time I would use 100 feet of cable is if I needed to get from point A to point B. I oftentimes will use, I, I carry, I carry um, three cables, uh, one, um, the Neural 8X, uh, a 50-footer and two 25s. And I typically will use the 50-foot cable for almost everything. And um, unless I'm really close to the, you know, I've got the antenna deployed in such a way that I can get by with just the 25-footer. But um, typically I'll use that 50-foot that length of cable. And at uh, the losses, the losses are minimal, you know, on, on the HF band with 8X. I think uh, the 20 meter band, uh, 100 feet of 20, you know, is, is probably like less than a dB, less, you know, around one dB or so. So it's, um, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not talking any, any giant losses. And that gives me the flexibility to set up where I need to be and I can get the cable to where, you know, where, I, where I'm going to have the, have the radio. I don't go any longer than that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't use a hundred footer, uh, for sure. So no. If the only reason you're adding coax is to get a better match, you you've got a different problem. <laughs> that you yeah. do. That you do. Yeah. So, all right. Um, yeah, and Alan, yeah, yeah. Longer coax, you'll get a false low SWR reading. That's um, basically that. That's the that. Yeah, that's the. Too long, didn't read version of what I what I said. So, uh. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.